Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my Tamiya Grasshopper speedrun video. I already have a feeling it's going to be super disappointing with that 380 brush motor, so we're probably going to go ahead and do a 540 conversion and a sport tune if we can get this to go down the road straight. Hopefully, it doesn't disappoint me. Let's check it out. So we don't have a figure in this one. We just have the GPS sticking inside there. And I have a feeling this is going to be so disappointing that I'm not even going to shut my car off. So we've got the GPS out here. Start. Look, it's just super slow. Yeah, it's slow, very slow, very bouncy. Still looks good going down the road, though. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I keep playing with it. It's beautiful. Stop, read. 17 kilometers an hour, that means it's gonna be really slow. Maybe like 10 or 11. I don't even wanna look at it in miles per hour. 11. So 11 miles an hour on the grasshopper. That is with a stock 380 brushed motor. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these motors need to break in. So you can actually take your motor, any one of these motors, and you can actually look down in there and you can see the brushes right there. See them? I'm bringing that up because if you went and tested your motor and it's 11 miles an hour and it's just totally disappointing, you could possibly end up getting maybe 12, 13, possibly 14 once the brushes break in. And the brush will actually have that shape right there. And it's flat sitting on the round area. And when they're breaking them in, all they're doing is turning that to that right there. So the first test we're gonna do is with the silver can and we're gonna do the Sport Tune 540 and see if there's a big difference. So we gotta get the body off, the wheels off. So I bought this in December of 2021. It comes with that ESC that you can run a brush or brushless motor. That is freaking insane. We don't even have to mess with the ESC to have fun with this thing. Anybody can just go spend $100 on a freaking brushless motor. We get that, but my videos, we're trying to figure out where can we have fun with it, not necessarily having to spend the most money. Okay, just these two screws back out. Since I'm new to RC, I am going back to the beginning and buying all these old ones because I missed out on them. All right, so go ahead and get this piece off. You're going to reuse that. Okay, this can just stay like that. We don't even have to take that off. All right, so for the silver can, just make sure the screws do thread into the motor which they do perfect. I want you to use an 18 tooth pinion. Be careful, the different thread pitch. I'm still learning, not sure, but these are from the Brat slash Frog. You'll see a little kit like this on eBay. It's under $10 and it comes with that 18 tooth pinion you need. And it wants the face of that motor 16 millimeters to the end of that gear. 16, a little bit more. Just make sure you have that grub screw set screw on the flat side of the shaft get your motor in from the other side and we're just trying to make sure it is making contact with the gear correctly and it is looking beautiful so that's it just motor stick it in there these screws straight through there straight into the motor that's all very simple okay so we got our head on the motor twisting it and we're trying to snug everything up make sure nothing's in a bind we need to spin the rear axle make sure nothing's in a bind Sounds perfect. Brand new silver can 540 motor. The brushes are not broken in. Let's check the speed on it. Check this out, 16. That's actually very, very impressive. It did feel fun. That's pretty good for a silver cam 540. And that is 25 kilometers an hour. I am very, very impressed with that. All right, so now we have the Sport Tune, brand new motor, brushes are not broken in. Got the GPS ready, let's check this last one out. Is it gonna feel faster? Let's see. 
Dang, it does feel faster. Watch it go in a straight line. We'll talk about what I did to make it do that. Very cool. Nineteen miles an hour, thirty-one kilometers an hour. I must say that is pretty fast, and it feels fast, and it's fun. Sport tune motor for a win, twenty-one dollars. We reached our goal. We found out what we needed to have fun with this, and trust me, I had fun with it. My mind was blown today because I watched some videos on this, and people were very mixed with it. There's that one video where the guy just should just delete that video where he's depressed talking about don't buy it. It's too slow. It doesn't go down the road straight. We demonstrated that it goes down the road straight at 20 miles an hour. But let's talk about what I did. So when you actually understand what you're doing mechanically, you figure out problems real fast. By default, screwed all the way down, the car had toe in no matter what. So if you look straight down at the tie rod ends they're bent upwards put a bend in them like a small rainbow until you start to get some toe out and then you can adjust these until you get your alignment perfect so when i first set it up it did not go in a straight line and there's no way in the world it will unless you bend those up like that so the main downside of this car is running it on the road the suspension is super bouncy i mean it was jumping up sometimes that high on the front these tires even though they look like that are super duper grippy it's nearly impossible to do donuts and fishtail and play around like that very very grippy and very impressed with these tires for sure so recap this is fine for a child maybe 10 or 11 years old or younger 11 miles an hour silver cam 540 was 16 that's actually not that bad entry level but for a few more dollars if you had to buy one this was like 21 or 23 dollars and this was the saving grace for this car these tamias have changed my life these are so fun they're so high quality they're so beautiful i could display this one just like it is got videos doing the body got videos doing the chassis if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and thanks for watching